Alright, so uh, a little bit of feedback on the secret layer. First off, I really like the interior. I think it's got a lot going for it. I like the I like the warp tiles and the, and the little spinny floors there. They're neat. Um, but it's really easy to get in, and I think that's that's a, that's a that's a very big problem that should be addressed. I don't understand what you mean. Well, for example, I myself walked right in, despite the fact that I was carrying no less than 12 very big knives. I stabbed two people, just to make a point. We have rights. This is America. Um, it, it's not America, actually. It's, I, I think this is ostensibly Japan, to be honest, but that's, that's beyond the point. The other thing I noticed, the fellow who was doing security, he was... He was asleep. And I, I don't think he's quite right for the role. Sleepy Pete has been with Team Rocket for 30 years. Okay, and I, I respect the loyalty, but I, I think maybe if you put him in a different position, maybe in administration or something. Sleepy Pete would be a terrible admin. He's always falling asleep. Right, right but that, that, that's kind of my, my point, isn't it? Um, all right, all right. So I've noticed that in this city, there is no less than five buildings. Five buildings that don't have any doors at all. You can't get in them. And that's just that's just a, a, a person's house. There are people living in there that cannot get, get, they cannot get in or out. And you are running what is purportedly the largest crime syndicate in the in the in the country. And it it, it, it just boggles my mind how you are so lax. So lax. On security. You have brought up some very interesting points. We will discuss them further when I next see you in hell. Oh bollocks. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey guys! Tackhead and I here with the Pokemon Red Nuzlocke Challenge! Whoopee! Uh, if you're wondering about the do, someone said that these videos were pointless, so I thought I'd show them. No, there's many points. You just have to know where to look. Haha, <laughs> nobody actually said that. I just thought it'd be a fun intro. Turns out it wasn't. Anyway, in this episode, we're continuing through the Sylph Co. In the last episode, we took a bit of a beating, but funnily enough, all of our team is healthy now. Wow, magic. Now, I have no idea where I'm going, so it's gonna be a lot of lumbering around and doing unnecessary battles with fellas such as uh, this one, apparently. You're causing us problems! My psychiatrist says I shouldn't battle little boys anymore, but I'll do it just one more time! Oh god. So glad that's not a Pokemon voice. Anyway, uh, we are continuing the surprising rage of Tools, who, because of Hyper Fang's incredible overpowered nature, <laughs> is capably taking on things three times his size. Oh, Tools, I'm... You're everything I thought Snap would become. And now you're level 21! Hey, you can legally drink now! <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Um, we're gonna pop you out though, because I have a feeling that this Electrode is keen on self-destruct. Every time I see explosive balls, I run away! That's just a good uh, rule of thumb to have, really. Now, it's probably gonna have some... Um, Whatchamacallit? Uh, so Sonic Booms in there as well, so let's try and take this out as fast as possible. Um, Sonic Booms, I have recently discovered, hit Monster, despite him being a ghost. I don't know what it is that makes Sonic Boom that much more um, uh, <laughs> magical than other normal attacks, but you know, I will accept it. Well, I mean, I have to accept it. It's not like I'm going to quit this Nuzlocke challenge out of, like, protest for Sonic Boom being able to hit ghost types. I mean, if Nightshade can hit, um, normal types, I don't know why I'm surprised. I just kind of forgot that was a thing, I guess. I went through an entire episode thinking that Monster had no more moves because I was fighting Rattatas and Pidgeys. Ah, uh, silly me. Now that Monster has Psychic, I think, um, he's jumped up the rankings again. And he's almost level 30 as well. Huh? I lost! Tools! 
is evolving! Now I am carrying two radicates on my person. Ah. Uh, I don't think a no dupes clause would even work in Gen 1. The, um. The range of Pokemon is just that limited, you know? Alrighty, go down here. Where in the fuck am I? Let's go through the warp. Oh, I'm stuck now. I'm stuck in the boardroom with this fella. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Really? We need an entire room for that man to ruminate on his career future. That's silly. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers! My name is Nathaniel! And I like to dance! Far out, man. This, um... I'm used to just seeing a whole bunch of, like, Grimers and Zubats. I'm not used to seeing all of these evolved Pokémon being carried by Team Rocket. It's got me a little bit rattled, but not majorly. Especially because tools... Okay, so... Hyper Fang has an 80 base power, a high crit rate, and apparently it can make you flinch. And we use Quick Attack, <laughs> just to remind ourselves that we have more than one move. And it's a critical hit as well, okay. Huh. I think I underestimated um, how well tools would perform in this Let's Play. And he will soon die. <laughs> That's just how it works, you know? I was talking about how how happy I was with Gno and Gno's ability to do things, and then Gno got, um, well, we, um, headbutted our boyfriend so hard that he burst. Paraphrasing. Okay. Right. Well, we're gonna swap our Raticate for a Raticate! Rumps comes in and goes, ah! Mostly because he knows that, um, suddenly there's another Raticate on the block. That's okay, Rumps, you're still ready from the block. Am I going to be the only Nuzlocker who um, comes out with just a team filled with Raticates? I love that, actually. I'm down for that. I have low standards. I, I get excited by mundane things. Horn Drill! Yes! Yes, Samson, you've done it! You've done it, Samson! Oh, you can die a happy fish now! Oh, you leveled up. You were so excited. Oh, we're all excited. And by all of us, I mean me and... Um, this mouse in my pocket. Where am I now? Can I go to sleep? No? Okay. I know that there's like a bed you can sleep in somewhere, but I guess <laughs> not those. <laughs> the sheets haven't been made, so Tybalt just won't go there. Where am I now? Am I back at I'm back at level one? What? What? Shit. I really wish I could get on my bicycle to expedite this process here. Um, okay. Uh can we take the elevator? <laughs> the Ghostbusters have taught me that the stairs are overrated. Okay. Oh, well, there's more stairs. Okay. I'm not taking the elevator to go up one floor, guys. I'm not I'm not that lazy. In-game. <laughs> In real life, totally would. Quit messing with us, kid! We are enterprising businessmen. We work for Trump. Okay. Topical. And by Trump, I mean my uh, Magikarp, who died... <laughs> Early in this Let's Play. Oh, sorry, Tools. I've got, I've got to get a lot better with um, remembering to swap out my um, enfeebled Pokemon, but no. Instead, we just let Monster abuse his... Um... In Gen 1, having that normal type resistance is paramount to immortality, really. Because <laughs> there's so many normal type moves in Gen 1. So little type variation, so many normal type moves, so many weird mechanics, and a Hypno! Shit, no! Who is good against Hypnos? Oh, Dampierre. Dampierre, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm feeling a little bit cocky. How about you? Alright. First of all, Dampierre will hit you with Toxic. No, first Dampierre will cop a headbutt, but he does not care. Dampier's been in many fights on the football field. <laughs> he learned from the best. Zinedine Zidane. And now Leech Life, which should be super effective, right? Uh, that's uh, open for interpretation. Hmm. I get... I don't know. 
I, I just have no faith in my Pokemon's abilities to not die. So every time I see a move like freaking Psychic, I'm like, that's probably gonna kill me. No! Out of all the bloody things in the world. Cheeky fella. Fine. Scratch you. Scratch you, scratch you. I'll scratch you. Skank, skank. The hair, the hair. Okay. Not the best reference, but it worked. Um, and now we are going to go wheat. Wheat, 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 wheat rumps. Go with the rumps! They look real good! I don't know what accent that was. It started off as Jamaican, but then it became... Uh, something new! Holy shit! That was in response to that critical hit quick attack, by the way. It wasn't in response to the something new accent. Damn it! I need Rumps to be able to uh, stay in the leadoff for a while, but now he's down to half health and he's trying to learn focus energy. Fuck off! <laughs> no, Rumps, no! Yes, abandon learning focus energy. You give up? Well, I'm not done with you, boy! Uh, Samson can go here and then fight a Magnemite at some point. I work for Sylph. What should I do? <laughs> I don't think I want to join Team Rocket, but I don't know. Have they got good dental? Uh, where is this? Where am I? You can open doors with a card key! Thank you, sir! Wait a minute. What?! What?! <laughs> what the fuck?! Worst teleportation ever! That was made by the, um... <laughs> that was made by the work experience kid. He's not quite up to snuff yet. Okay. Ooh, an item! TM09! I love that one! That's my favorite! I love it so much! What the fuck is it? Takedown! That's actually good. Everyone can take down. Oh, how about... <laughs> I don't know why I sound like that. How about giving it to Tools? Yeah! That's what I'd sound like if I was a cartoon character. I borderline am a cartoon character, so we all know that's not true. Tackle is gone! Tackle down is in! Mostly because I just wanted the space in my goddamn... <laughs> my item inventory. Item inventory sounds redundant, but okay. Um, I guess we'll take the elevator again. Have I fought that guy, or is he just a nice fellow who doesn't want to battle? Oh, another teleporter. Where am I now? We study Pokeball technology on this floor. What? That's not a proclamation of battle. That was a... <laughs> that was discourse right there. What the fuck, man? It's like this guy's never fought before, so he doesn't know how to uh, proceed it. And of course Samson sees a Magneton. A frickin' course. So I'm gonna go to my other water type. Who has, um... Multiple weaknesses. Multiple weaknesses to, um... Electricity. But he has Ice Beam. Which I haven't used that much. Ah, no, 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 friends. Okay, I've learned my lesson. What do you know? Putting out the water slash flying type against Magneton was a poorly realized strategy. I don't know, guys. I think one of my bigs is gonna go down soon. It's either gonna be Monster or Joe Beavins. I hope it's Joe Beavins. I kind of hate that guy. Would anyone like to level up? Nope. Okay. Just a thought. Mm, yeah. This whole um, poison weakness to bug in Gen 1 is really suiting my needs so far. Kinda wanna stun spore you just because I can't toxic you and stun spore feels neglected, but that's okay. Don't you dare. Just don't blow up on me, okay? Gaseous ball! I will suck your life with Glee, but do not explode on me. That was a, uh, <laughs> that was an avant-garde um, presentation. No, not poison. What the hell was that? Oh yeah, you're a grass type too, sorry. Forgot about that, Dompier. Maybe shouldn't have put you out there, but okay. You survived. Uh, wheezing though, that's probably a little bit more than I want. Samson! <laughs> Hello there, Samson! 
Um, one of the uh, mid-card guys. I kind of forget that Samson's even a thing. He's got Sir. You know, 90 base power move. We're not going to sneeze at that. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Stupid random critical hits. Costing me my Pokemon economy. My Pokemon economy. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> In my head, it was so good, though. Almost went Horn Drill. <laughs> That's a good finisher, I think. Uh, Magnemite. Mm, God damn it. Monster comes back. Despite no real desire to be out here, just that he can use his psychic thoughts. I wonder if a Magnemite is actually just a robotic thing. Does it even have thoughts? Does it have emotions? Does it have desires? Does it think I'm cute? These are the things I want to know. Monster grew to a higher level and I defeated the scientist. He throws <laughs> casual swears at me and we are gonna do one more battle. No, nah, Samson. I think it's gonna be one of those things where we should have stopped here, but no, screw it. Um, but where is that battle? It's with this fella here, I think. I heard a kid was wandering around. Have you seen him? <laughs> I've got buttons for him. Rocket wants to fight with a fucking Arbok, okay. What the fuck, man? Horn Drill! <laughs> Ugh. Come on, Samson! Come on, Samson! Nah. 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 Well, at least I can't be poisoned. Okay, well. That was all Samson had in him. <laughs> in comes Rumps! Hello, Rumps, my old friend. We're going to Hyper Fang again. Ah! We're having a bit of a bite battle. Ugh. Ugh. Monster. <laughs> oh, dear. Deary me! Well, that would have been a good time for Psychic. It's okay, though. We have Nightshade. 30 damage at this... Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't paralyze my monster. No, oh, don't fully paralyze my monster and then leer at him. <laughs> Glaring and leering? You're just rude, I think. You need to learn some social norms, Arbok. Fantubulous! That is another episode down and dusted. My neck is killing me because I've been sitting like this for like half an hour. Anyway, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and boom. Because <laughs> that's what he said. And I will see you in the next episode when I potentially finish off the Silco or potentially continue wandering around like an asshole. See ya.